Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and today we're going to go over summertime with warm season grass. This is mainly St. Augustine, Zoysia, Bermuda, Centipede, but the biggest ones this leans toward is St. Augustine and Zoysia grass, but it can work for all of your warm season turf. Now this is going to be for June, July, and August, so let's get right into the video. Now June, July, and August are gonna be our hottest months here. And unfortunately this time of year, you can almost have any type of issue between weeds, chinch bugs, sod web worms, gray leaf spot fungus, almost everything can come up. We're gonna have extreme drought and also extreme rain. So you can almost run into any circumstance in these three months. I'm gonna give you a rundown of the main issues you can expect, how to look for them, and how to deal with them. Now your most common pest issues are going to be chinch bugs and sod webworms. This time of year both can pop up. Now I do have videos about both of those things so for really good detail of exactly how to identify and how to treat I really recommend checking out the videos on my channel because I go into a lot more detail. But chinch bugs are going to be areas the grass starts to die and kind of has a yellow stress pattern around them. You're going to go dig deep and look for the pests. Um, I'll show you here what they look like but chinch bugs are going to be very active this time of year. Now also you're going to get sod webworms. So sod webworms are going to start to appear. They ideally like shadier uh, in wetter areas uh, but it's not all the time. That tends to be where you find them more but I've seen them in full sun areas as well. And that's going to look like a chewing of the grass blade. So what you're going to notice is areas of the grass are almost look like they've been scalped by a weed eater or a mower or something like that. When you look close you'll notice a bunch of little chew marks on the grass blades. And that means you have soft webworms. Another sign is by seeing moths. So the moths don't do any damage but they lay eggs to the worms that do chew. So if you see a few moths in the yard that's not a big deal uh, but if you're seeing hundreds of moths through the lawn that's a good sign that they could be laying eggs to the worms that will do the damage now there's nothing you can do to treat the moths they're just a good indicator for more detail about both of those pests please go and check out my videos and I'll tell you exactly how to treat those this video is more about what you can expect and what to look for in these three months and now, like I said, this is the time of year where almost everything pops up. Because even with those two issues, you could still get something called gray leaf spot fungus. Um, now, this is going to come from a lot of moisture. So we've been getting a lot of rain lately, and that can happen. Um, we can get extreme amounts of rain or extreme drought within these three months. So if we're getting a drought and then a lot of rain, gray leaf spot's going to be extremely active. And it's just dark brown to gray lesions on the leaf blades. This is what it looks like. I have a, a very very recent video about exactly what to look for and how to treat it so I recommend checking that out but that's something you're really going to be looking out for this time of year now something to note is sod webworms and gray leaf spot fungus kind of go together usually when you tend to get gray leaf spot fungus or sod webworms you usually get them in the same area because they like the same conditions so that's a really good thing to notate and also weeds are going to be a big problem this time of year as well some of the most damaging weeds to the lawn will be coming out in these hot summer months. You're going to have dollar weed, button weed, dove weed, sedge, all your sedge weeds, things like that are going to be coming up. Crab grass, torpedo grass, signal grass, all these things are going to be thriving in these hot, humid, dry, slash wet times of the year. So these are all things you're going to be looking out for. This is where your spring pre-emergent program is really, really important in having a thick and healthy lawn. But these are things you're going to need to be look out for because a lot of these weeds, if not taken care of and treated, can start to take over your lawn. So there's thousands of weeds you can get in the lawn, but these weeds I listed and a few more, if not taken care of, can actually start to choke out the grass and take over parts of the yard. And when they get under control, you'll have thin and bare areas. So it's really important to be looking out for these weeds and treating them right away. Dollar weed is round, waxy, uh, almost looks like a sand dollar which is where it gets the name from. That's a pretty distinctive weed in common so it's definitely something you'll be able to notice. That needs to be treated right away. Uh, buttonweed is, is a creeping ground type of weed and has a white flower to it. It's pretty distinctive and that's something that can really take over. And then same thing with doveweed. 
dove wheat has a purple flower to it. It's very thick and waxy. Starts to come at the end more of the summer, uh, but loves wet areas and grows like a thick carpet. Now these are all broadleaf weeds um, and can be treated with some of these summer herbicides like Avenue South and MSM. I have a more detailed video about these herbicides as well, so I highly recommend if you're really interested on mixing rates and exactly how to use these products to treat these weeds I just described, please go and check out my video on it, on how to treat and kill weeds in this warm season turf. Sedge weeds are a big problem. That's a grassy type weed, so broadleaf herbicides won't be, but there's purple nut sedge, globe sedge, kalinga sedge, things like that. And those are the most common sedges we will see here, and these can really start to take over certain areas of the lawn if not treated. As you can see here, the area I'm in is not treated frequently and you can just see the mix and array, thin, compacted, all kinds of weeds growing in this area. Um, and this is really what a natural area looks like that's not commonly treated or taken care of in the summer months. You just get an array of whatever wants to grow and the areas stay very thin and compacted. So this is why it's really important to be taking the steps of making sure the lawn is properly watered. When we get in times of drought, crank up the watering. When we're getting tons of rain, make sure to back off. Uh, checking your lawn um, for pests uh, and this fungus that I mentioned and these weeds and getting control of them quickly will be really important to having a thick and healthy lawn. Now this was just a quick video of what you can expect in these three summer months, June, July, and August. These are gonna be some of the most difficult times of year. You're not gonna be using heavy nitrogen fertilizers because of the heat and all these issues. You're gonna be one feeding your lawn with lots of micronutrients. Humic acid, micronutrients, milorganite, things like that. We call it spoon feeding. You should have done all your heavy fertilizers in the springtime, and now we just wanna keep it green, which I call micronutrients, which are the vitamins for the lawn. Heavy nitrogen is not gonna be good this time of year because it produces heat when it releases, um, and can also can flare up fungus and chinch bugs and things like that love high nitrogen. So by feeding the lawn in these summer months, you'd be causing more issues. Also, a lot of counties have blackout days so please make sure to check out your local extension agency to see if you have a nitrogen blackout. If so, that's okay. Your humic acids, your irons, your micronutrients are going to be what you need to feed the lawn for these summer months. And then all these other things I've gone over are the issues you need to be look out for. So these three months are very crucial um, in keeping a nice and healthy lawn. This is where most lawns start to thin out and have issues, and then it's really hard to repair and fix this time of year. So again, I didn't really go into detail about anything. This is more of just what to look out for. Everything I've gone over, I have very detailed videos of. So please check out the rest of my channel. Check out those videos, especially if you're a DIYer wanting to have a nice and, or an improved their lawn and just and generally have more knowledge and be better at lawn care in general check out those other videos and the rest of my channel I highly recommend but these are the things that you're gonna need to really be looking out for um, again I'm doing a 10,000 subscribers giveaway thank you everyone for the support I really appreciate it I'm giving away three bags of fertilizer so please feel free to subscribe and like if this video has helped you and everyone have a great rest of your day I'll be